How to interpret your liver function test results. Understanding your liver function test results can feel overwhelming, but breaking it down can make it easier. Liver function tests, often referred to as LFTS, are blood tests that help assess the health of your liver. They measure various enzymes, proteins, and substances in your blood, giving insight into how well your liver is functioning. Key components of LFTS include several important markers, alanine aminotransferase, or ALT, and aspartate aminotransferase, or AST, are enzymes primarily found in liver cells. If these levels are elevated, it often indicates liver cell injury or inflammation. ALT is more specific to the liver, while AST can also rise due to muscle damage. Another important marker is alkaline phosphate haze, or ALP. Elevated levels of ALP can suggest issues with bile ducts, such as obstruction or cholestasis. Gamma glutamyl transferase, or GGT, is another enzyme sensitive to bile duct problems and alcohol use. A rise in GGT alongside ALP can indicate cholestatic liver disease. Bilirubin is also measured in LFTS. It is a breakdown product of red blood cells processed by the liver. High bilirubin levels can lead to jaundice and may suggest liver dysfunction or bile duct obstruction. Albumin and total protein levels are also important. These proteins are synthesized by the liver, and low levels may indicate impaired liver function. Prothrombin time, or PT, measures how well your blood clots. Since clotting factors are produced by the liver, a prolonged PT can indicate severe liver dysfunction. When interpreting your LFT results, it's essential to look at the pattern and degree of any abnormalities. A hepatocellular pattern, marked by elevated ALT and AST, often points to liver cell injury from conditions like viral hepatitis, alcohol-related liver disease, or even liver cancer. Further testing may be necessary to determine the exact cause. A cholestatic pattern, characterized by elevated ALP and GGT, suggests bile flow obstruction. This could be due to gallstones or tumors affecting the bile ducts. A mixed pattern, where both transaminases and cholestatic enzymes are elevated, may indicate a combination of liver injury and bile duct involvement. The degree of elevation in these tests also matters. Mild abnormalities, which are less than twice the upper limit of normal, may just requiring monitoring. However, significant elevations, more than two to three times the upper limit, usually necessitate further investigation. This could include imaging studies like ultrasound or court scans, additional blood tests, and possibly a referral to a liver specialist. It's vital to interpret LFTS in the context of your symptoms, medical history, and risk factors. Factors such as alcohol use, exposure to viral hepatitis, or a family history of liver disease can all play a role. Remember, normal LFTS do not always rule out advanced liver disease, and abnormal results can occur without significant liver damage. In the context of liver cancer, LFTS can help detect liver dysfunction caused by tumor growth or underlying cirrhosis, but they are not diagnostic on their own. If liver enzymes or bilirubin levels are elevated in someone with risk factors for liver cancer, further imaging and evaluation by a specialist is warranted. Overall, liver function test results are a valuable tool for assessing liver health. They guide diagnosis and management but must be interpreted carefully alongside clinical findings. If you have persistent or significant abnormalities in your results, it is crucial to consult a healthcare professional specializing in liver diseases for a thorough evaluation and appropriate management. Thank you.